Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Foley High School. I'm here with some of our choir students and with Mr. Ham. Uh, I think a lot of you know, but you may not all know, that Mr. Ham is going to be leaving us at the end of the semester. He's decided to make a career change. I've tried to talk him out of it, but I understand that when, when something's on your heart and you feel like that's the thing for you to do, that that's the thing for you to do. So we're excited for him, even though we're going to miss him. Um, really just wanted to kind of publicly thank him for his impact on our school and in particular our choir program, but I think the entire school. A lot of you don't know that when the economy really stumped 10 years ago when y'all were just starting school, that we lost our choir program just due to attrition and some other things. And we went several years without one. Had a couple people who kind of got things jump started a little bit and I appreciate them. Had the opportunity to hire this young teacher who had a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of ideas. And I feel like we've come light years in the time that Mr. Ham's been with us and we're very excited about where he has our kids set up for continued success. We found somebody we feel like is gonna be able to take that and run with it and continue the good things that we've got going. So we're excited about that as well. And uh, so we've got lots of good things going on. Anyway, it's going to be Monday when this airs, and I wanted Mr. Ham and the kids to join me for the alma mater. Um, one more time officially publicly here. So if y'all would, stand with us and join us in the alma mater. And I'm Julian Cruz. And here's today's birthdays. Alana Wheeler. Ian Gecki. Brenda Petonia Penna. Edilsa Martinez. Angel Hurt. And Kaden Malloy. And here are the birthdays during the holidays. For December 18th's birthdays, Shayna Artrip, Haley Acock, Sonny Lowry, Aiden Thatch, Hirian Ordonez. And for December 19th, Connor Clemens, Kimberly Mathis, and Raven Simpson. For December 20th's birthdays, Rebecca Rencher, Corbin Sayre, and Adriana Owens. For December 21st, Aaron Bockwell, Buster Bergman, Lily Bergman, Reyes Fabian, and Sierra Spaller. For December 22nd, Sean Jacobson, Bonnie Tucker, Chase Pate, Patrick Pate, and Sherman McCarthy. For December 23rd, Kaya Johnson, Haley Selliman, Montre Whitfield, Jonathan Polito, and our assistant principal, Mr. Tucker. For December 25th, Hannah Martin, Adrian Prim, Lexeli Bargon, Jocelyn Espinoa Gomez, and Gabriela Figueroa Alva. For December 26, Autumn Lowry, Ethan Burt, and her Foley High School teacher, Ms. Horan. For December 27th, Nehemiah Pierce and Emily McDuffie. For December 28th, Trent Nettles. For December 29th, Richard Wynn, Gwendolyn Johnson, Alyssa Alligood, Andrew Schwartzfeger, and our Foley High teacher, Ms. Killian. For December 30th, Trent Session, Seth King, and Joey DiOrio. For December 31st, Zach Fiala, Tamaya Purdue, James Connor, Natalia Vasquez, Maddie Pritchett, Kishana Edwards, 
Crystal Lindstrom, and Jaden Hill. The quote of the day today is from Charlie Brown. It's not what's under the Christmas tree that matters, it's who's around it. We have several new teachers on campus this year. Ms. Anderson's oral communication class recently talked with each one to find out more about them. Hello, I'm Alexis, and this is Ms. Tillis, and this is Shamar, and we're here to introduce her to the school. Hello. Have you always wanted to be a teacher since you were little? I have. Um, my poor younger sister, most people play dolls or play something, but we played school, and I was bossy. I was a bossy little kid, so yes. <laughs> I gave her homework and everything, so yes, I did always want to be a teacher. And that's why? Uh, why? I have no idea. I guess I'm crazy. I have no idea why anyone would want to be a teacher. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's fun. I, I enjoy um, working with, with kids, with students that still have a lot of just potential in life and to encourage people um, and inspire them. That's what I like to do. So, mm -hmm. so what inspired you to teach a second language? Um, well, I taught English for 13 years um, to gen ed students like you guys, and I just like to travel a lot. I grew up actually overseas uh, most of my K through 12 life, so I'm used to not understanding anybody around me. So I'm completely comfortable not understanding everything that's going on, and most people aren't. So I thought that was kind of the niche that needed to be filled. So I pursued it, and so far it's really fun. I enjoy it. Okay. Are there any other languages that you speak? I actually only speak English. I have been exposed to so many different languages. I have friends all over the world that speak. My best friend speaks German as her first language. So I, I've always spoken English. And luckily enough, English is the international language. And everybody always wants to practice their English with me. That's like the job I do now. I just did naturally with all of my friends before this job. Um, so. No, I just I speak English and a little bit. I mean, a little bit of Spanish, of course. I've picked up. My students have taught me a lot. A um, little bit of German, a little bit of Italian, a little bit of everywhere that I've traveled and lived. And it's just, yeah, my brain is. Just, uh, <laughs> it's not made that way. Yeah. yeah. Are there any hobbies you like to do besides uh, teaching? I bet you can guess what my hobby is. Traveling. Yes. Yes, ma'am. That's so it. You have That's a really board full of it. Yeah, I um, yeah I just got back actually from like Honduras and Guatemala and Mexico from. Um, Thanksgiving break, fall break, whatever we call it. So I love to travel. Um, yeah, Guatemala was my 56th country. So oh. I, love I love traveling. I love other cultures, learning about how other people live, and it's great. That's yeah, that's what makes me happy, feel alive. Yeah. Are there any other things you'd like to tell us? Any wisdom? <sighs> I have so much wisdom. We don't have time for this on the news. Oh, so I'm, just, you know, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, just do what you love in life. Um, I yeah, like I don't teaching. I, I just love it. Obviously, nobody does that. It's like, oh, I'm gonna get rich. No, I love teaching because it's fun and interacting with students now from different cultures is extra special for me. So, um, just do what you love and always pursue your dreams. That's it. Really, honestly. Right. Well, thank you so much for interviewing yeah. us. Yeah, nice thank to meet you. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Congratulations to Coach Cox and Coach Minoso for being selected by the senior class as the co-teacher of the month for December. Coach Cox, in his third year at Fuller High School, graduated from Jacksonville State University with a bachelor's degree in education and social science. He teaches history and coaches baseball and girls basketball. Coach Minoso, in his second year at Foley High School, graduated from the University of Alabama with a Bachelor of Arts in History and a Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education from UAB. Coach Minoso is the varsity boys basketball coach. Congratulations to both Coach Cox and Minoso. Christmas is a holiday celebrated on the 25th of December. Christmas was declared to be a federal holiday in 1870 and the first state in the United States to make it a state holiday was Louisiana. Many Christians celebrate the birth of Jesus on Christmas Day, and the popularity of Santa Claus gifts and Christmas trees did not start until the mid-19th century. Germans are credited with starting the Christmas tree tradition in the 16th century, and many immigrants from different countries have brought their own traditions and combined them with others to make what is now our modern Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. On the twelfth day of Christmas at Foley High C, twelve skipping seniors, eleven jumping juniors, ten singing sophomores, nine fearing freshmen, eight hours sleeping, 
seven students stressing, six days of homework, five class rings, four savage teachers, three broken Chromebooks, two tardy slips, and an OG Mr. Lee. Hello Foley Lions! Do you want an exciting way to kick off your Christmas break? Well, you're in luck. We have four basketball games at home tonight, starting at 4 o'clock against Robertsdale. Tonight's game is a red app for our Hoops for Heart in which we honor those from Foley whom we have lost to heart-related issues. We ask that everyone give us one more day's effort in raising awareness and money for the American Heart Association. If you bought a bracelet or t-shirt last week, remember to wear those tonight as your admission into the games. If you haven't purchased yours, you can get it in the cafeteria or at lunch or at the game tonight. I'm Michael Bingert. And I'm Julian Cruz. And this is the Locker Room Report. There are a lot of athletic events going around throughout the holiday season around Foley. Starting this afternoon at the Foley Golf Bowl, our bowling team will be going up against Fairhope Pirates starting at 3.30. Also, tonight, all four basketball teams will be in action against Robertsdale. JV Girls at 4, JV Boys at 5, Varsity Girls at 6, and Varsity Boys at 7.30. Also, on the 27th through the 29th, the Varsity Girls will travel up Interstate 65 to Carver High School in Montgomery to play in the Dwight Madison Tournament. The Varsity Boys will be in Pensacola the same days in the Pensacola Catholic Tournament to round out the basketball schedule for the holidays. A very important Regent game will be played on January 2nd, the day before we return back from Christmas break. As McGill Tulin comes in with the JV Boys starting at 4.30, the Varsity Girls at 6, and the Varsity Boys playing at the last game at 7.30. Tomorrow, Baldwin County High School comes to town to take on the Lions with the JV boys starting off at 4.30, followed by the girls at 6, and the Varsity boys tipping off at 7.30. On Thursday and Friday, the Varsity boys will compete in a Scambia tournament in Pensacola. The wrestling team will also be in action during the holidays as they travel to Auburn Wednesday to participate in the Auburn High School tournament with several teams in the Auburn area. The 7th through 9th grade team will be in action in the Spanish Short Tournament on December 28th and the 29th. Next day, Thursday the 27th through Saturday the 29th, the JV boys will be hosting along with Golf Shores the Foley Golf Shores Tournament. The games will be played at Foley and in Golf Shores. Hello Foley High School. Happy Monday everybody. For a lot of you, this will be the last lunch announcement before the holidays due to the makeup day tomorrow. So today for lunch, we'll be having chicken and waffles, roasted potatoes, baby carrots, fruit, and don't forget your grab and go. Have a Merry Christmas Foley High School. Good morning, Foley High School. Just a chance for me to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Hope that everyone has a great break. Ask that you be careful as you're out driving around. We know there's more traffic on holiday times than there are at other times, so we want everybody to be careful. Need you back here safely. Hope you have a happy, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we'll see you back here in early January. Go Lions! Well, those are all the announcements we have for you today. I'm London Marcella. I am Brother Guadalco. Today is December 17th. Today is school day. I just saw school too. The 2019 Early Exit Seniors. Good luck as you move on to the next chapter in your life. Have a great day, Foley High School. And Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho.